Praise be to the Lord. You can keep that playing in the background, D. Amen. This is what the Lord has given me for the proclamation for 2024. This will be declared the year of divine work. Grace, mercy, and peace be unto the body of Christ. As godly believers, the Lord is speaking in this season to those who truly seek to apply his word to their lives. In the quest to apply the word of the Lord to the life of an individual and others, the spiritual year of 2024 will require individuals to put into action what is known as divine work. In the Hebrew dialect, this would be known as Elohim Melaka. And in the Greek dialect, it would be known as Theos Ergon. Based upon the word and intent of the Lord, divine work would be understood by individuals to imply having a godly or spiritual occupation, business, or profession that one continues to exercise or practice on a daily basis. We will discover that this should be in our divine nature as Ephesians 2.10 describes us as the Lord's worksmanship or in the Greek poema, which means fabric or thing made or as some might say, his divine artwork. As believers, the work or business we are tasked to do in 2024 is to allow our light, which means our divine brilliance, understanding, and relationship with spiritual truth, to shine among men with the invested support of all of our heart or our thoughts. For in doing so, we are destined to receive the Lord Christ we so richly, richly, excuse me, search for as our inheritance from the Lord. This will be our reward or divine payment as stated in Matthew 5, 16 and Colossians 3, 3 through 24. As we embrace this way of thinking, we will need to understand that our greatest assignment of work to put into action is believing or trusting in the Lord as referenced in John 6, 29. Believers, be advised, we will be called to put this into action by learning to believe in him through the work or profession of building his character in our lives. We will see that this is done by practicing the spiritual fruit or characteristics of the spirit given to us by the Apostle Paul. These will include individually exercising love, which is brotherly affection, joy, which is spiritual gladness, peace, which is harmony and order, long-suffering, which is patience and endurance, gentleness, which is moral integrity, goodness, which is kindness in being beneficial, faith, which is being passionate and convicted towards the truth, meekness, which means having humility, and temperance, meaning we live by self-control in both our spiritual and natural lifestyle. This will be the year that we will have to work our practice building godly character in our nature while sanctifying ourselves through the separation or resigning of ourselves from the daily workings of our own fleshly desires that are not pleasing unto the Lord God. This will also require us to demonstrate to others the work that is being done within ourselves. This will imply manifesting or showing forth through our actions <clears throat> all that we have truly yoked ourselves with <clears throat> Excuse me. when it comes to the character of the Lord God we have pulled from the Bible and experienced through our relationship with him. <clears throat> Excuse me. For this is the work of the Lord 
and the course of our sanctification we are called to unto our salvation. This shall be the word of the Lord unto the body of Christ for the sake of 2024. Amen, amen, and amen.